Praise be Jesus Christ. I welcome you to our weekly meetings. Today's topic is fortune telling, Halloween, call out, calling out spirits, sorcery, and going to psychics. Let us begin. Why this topic? Um, because for so many times over the last um, 13, 15 years, I have heard um, these questions about, hey, Father, can we go to a psychic? Um, can we do fortune telling games? Can we call out spirits um, from another world or another reality? Usually people, when they ask questions like that, they think that they can call out um, souls from purgatory, souls from heaven um, to help them, to talk to them because they miss them. Um, not realizing the, the spiritual dangers they are putting themselves in, not realizing the spiritual impact it can have on them, on their families, on their spiritual life, on their um, just life in general, just perceiving life. Um, not realizing that those things are forbidden by God um, in in the Bible um, and you know so many things are forbidden by God in the Bible forbidden by God um, through the church and yet so many people uh, so lightly um, are quick to dismiss everything that is forbidden and just go about go about their daily lives with breaking all of the rules possible and feeling good about themselves as Christians. Isn't that amazing? Uh, this is the world we live in today. Uh, so let's see what the Bible says, for example, about um, casting spells or um, talking to a medium or medium, a person who is um, intermediary between us and the spirits, as they say. Deuteronomy 18, 11 says, You shall not cast spells or consult someone who is a medium or medium or spirits or who consoles the dead. In Exodus, do not allow a sorcerers to live. When someone tells you to consult mediums and spirits who whisper and mutter, shout not and people inquire of the sorcerers, it shall be a sin. There are so many more examples in the Bible. You can look through them yourself. I just wanted to warn you, um, especially if young people are looking into uh, this video, they happen to stumble upon it on YouTube. Um, sometimes, you know, we had this uh, Ouija board um, and all kinds of different games that will invite you into the spiritual realm that you don't know much about. You're going to be interested because there are so many movies that make, look, make those things look very interesting and sometimes entertaining. But don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. If God has forbidden something in the Bible, um, had forbidden something, um, uh, the... Um, Israelites, his chosen nation, um, his firstborn son, Israel. If God had forbidden it, it is because he wanted to um, protect his nation. He wanted to protect his people. He wanted to protect then us. People of the 21st century, members of the Catholic Church, who are supposed to be the light to the nations, who are supposed to be a shining example of what to do and what not to do. And, you know, the interesting thing is that so many times I hear my friends who are Catholics, who've gone to pilgrimages, who've been raised Catholic, who went to Masses, went to First Communion, went to Confirmation, had weddings in the church. And they will tell me, yeah, I'm going to go and consult a fortune teller. And I'm like, why would you do that? 
oh, I just, you know, it's just, it's just for fun. It's just something interesting. It's just, I just want to, just want to know what she's going to tell me or he's going to tell me. Without realizing that so often people who will go to these people who pretend to have some kind of a knowledge or they have some kind of a knowledge but we never know the source of that knowledge and so many um spiritual writers and i mean so many authors um who uh, wrote down what was dictated to them by the holy spirit in the gospels in the um, old testament will say that it's it is a knowledge that is not for us. That we should be humble. We should behave humbly and wisely by trusting God. Um, by entrusting our problems, our families, our lives to Him. And not be so proud and so controlling and so unfaithful and so... Um, I don't know. Lost. Um, so much lacking of, of trust in God and faith that we will go and consult some kind of a person who we don't know where they take the knowledge from. Maybe they had had a pact with the devil himself. Maybe they spend most of their time um, calling out spirits that usually will be um, demons. Demons who will pretend to be good or will pretend to be our family members to deceive us, to, to make us open the door for them to enter into our souls, into our minds, into our homes, into our families, into our jobs, into our realities, in order to destroy us. And all because we want to know something that will happen, may happen, Look how much pride, look how much, how little faith, how little trust in God who gave himself up for us. But you know, we live in the 21st century. 21st century is, is asking us to basically break any commitment we want to as long as it feels good. You know, I just came back from um, a retreat in the mountains uh, with our kids from the orphanage, a local orphanage. And some of these kids, they're great kids. But um, I remember those two girls who were wearing this T-shirt all the time. And it just, it made me angry. But I didn't say anything because, first of all, they didn't know English. So they didn't know what they were wearing. But I was wondering inside of me, like, what, why is this T-shirt even here? And it said, if it feels good, do it. Like, no, that's like the the total opposite of what we are as Christians. Don't do it just because it feels good. Do it because it is avoiding evil and doing good. Do it because it is true love. Do it because it is something mandated, mandated, mandated by God. But don't do it because just because it feels good. Don't do it just because other people do it. Don't do it just because there is a movie that is you know, promoting sorcery or Ouija boards or other boards or other spiritual games that will lead you into a reality that you don't know. And I know I've known people. I've known people who have suffered greatly because they began their spiritual journey by flirting with the devil, who hid himself uh, behind games, tarot, sorcery, mediums, people who pretend to have knowledge and even if they do have knowledge we don't know where this knowledge is from and even if they do have that knowledge we as christians catholics should say i don't want to know because i depend on a relationship with god i trust him he is the king of my life he decides when i am born he decides when i die and if there is something going on in my family, in my marriage, then I should figure it out by talking to my spouse, by talking to your spouse, and not by going to fortune tellers. Take care of your marriages, take care of your children, speak to them, speak to people in general, then you're not going to have to risk everything in your spiritual life to go to someone to tell you what the future will be like. 
It is lack of faith. It is a sin against the first commandment, and it needs to be confessed. And oftentimes, if, if you invited somebody like this to your home, then you should bless your home. And you should apologize to your family members. I know people in my own family. I know people in my own group of friends who have suffered greatly. They almost became paranoid because they've gone to these fortune tellers so many times. They then, then now that they completely depend on them. And whatever these people tell them, they do. And they suspect everybody around in their marriages, in their friend circle. They suspect everybody about everything because just because these people tell them. That's insane. And it's all because we don't listen to what God says. There is knowledge that is not for us. And we should simply accept it. Be careful, my friends. Sunday Mass, spiritual reading, meditation, adoration of the Most Blessed Sacrament, rosary, confession. These are the ways to holiness, to, to, to good relationship, um, to, to trusting God, to entrusting His life, to grow in faith, to grow in holiness. Not sorcery, not people who are waiting on the streets like we have in my city here in Poland. A bunch of gypsies that I remember when I was a teenage boy. These women would come up to you and say like, Hey, young man, let me tell you something about the future. I would run as far as possible from them. And literally 15 years later, 20 years later, I walk the same street and the same women are there. And they are promising people that they will tell them the truth about their future. They won't. They won't. Because it's not for them. We're supposed to be humbly waiting for what the Lord is going to give us. And trust Him. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God bless.